Okay, class, we're back. This tutorial, we are going to create all our aliens. Check that. We're going to ask that our aliens move across at the same time. Because right now, we created several of them, but none of them are moving except for our, our original alien. Okay? Now, yeah, let's get to work. So, where do we move this guy? It's a question. You can raise your hand. Just kidding. You can't talk to the computer. I'm sure you tried. Right, Brandon? That was a joke. Inside the timer, we have our alien moving around over here, right? Now, we just don't want to move our alien. We want to move all of our aliens, which are created inside this array called aliens, plural. Good name, right? Makes sense. Thought of it myself. What we're going to do then is instead of having this if block for just PB alien, we want the if block for the array simple enough right and then we want to do it for all of them again seems so logical how to do it well inside the timer we're gonna put it in a for loop just like we created it with a for loop so we're gonna go for we're gonna use LC again and we're allowed to use LC as much as we want because the variable is called local which means the other procedures are not going to see it and how big are we going to go? Well, we're going to go to the same one we as many as we made. So, in this case, it's three. And actually, this isn't good coding in the sense that this three we're going to have to remember to change all over the place. So, we're going to replace that with a variable. And therefore, whenever we want to change the number of aliens, we just have to change the variable once. So, let's go do that right now. Sorry. First things, let's just clean up our, our for loop. What does a for loop need to end? Here's another question. Think about it. Mm, time's up. It is the word next. Okay? And notice the error went away. So now let's clean up. Instead of three, what does this three represent? This three represents the number of aliens we want to create. So let's create a variable. Would be a good name. How about number of aliens? I'm even going to put the word of. Number of aliens. And this is simply going to be an integer. You guys like when I zoom in? Question? Okay. Done. Let's uh, get rid of this thing. Alright, so the number of aliens. So now wherever we saw the number 3, actually first thing, whenever we create a variable, we have to assign it. So number of aliens is going to be equal to 3. Right? Now, wherever we see the number 3, we're going to replace it with the variable name. Number of aliens. So we got it there and we got it up here. Number of aliens. Now the beauty is if we want to create seven aliens we just change this three to seven. If we want to create a hundred we just change it to a hundred. We can do that later. So now we got our for loop going from zero to where however aliens we made. Now we don't want the picture box we don't have to worry about it in the if statement right because we don't care about it but the code is going to be very similar so we're just going to alter it. So instead of pbalien.left, we're going to blank that out, Let's x out of here, and this is going to be our array of aliens, which we called aliens. At what spot? At LC. Remember, whenever you're dealing with an array, you need an index value, and you represent that by brackets. All right, that looks good. I'm going to change it over here to aliens, open close, LC, looks good dot left and then over here same deal aliens open close bracket let's see that nah, looks good me dot width well that's not going to change right and then what do we want to do pb where we see pb aliens we're going to go aliens open close check that open lc dot tap pb aliens another way to do this and we're gonna I'm gonna show you another technique later and we can just find and replace you can highlight find replace and then it would make all those changes for you aliens how does that look hey that looks pretty good and I think we got it and is that all we have to do well let's find out let's zoom out remember that air comes all right so it doesn't like this for some reason don't ask me why so let's play it and see if our aliens are moving and away, and no, they're not moving. Hmm. 
And the one guy just took off. That's great. What did we do wrong? Let's X out of here. Oh, right here. You guys picked that up? I didn't. It took me a while. If you picked it up, you get an A plus today. Good job. Who do you think got it? Probably Jackie. Good job, Jackie. Way to pick that up. So this is going to be aliens. Right. Open, close, LC. Um, this got to be inside our loop as well. Okay. So let's highlight this. Inside our loop, above our if. So right about there. And... How's that look? I'm just going to create some white space just so we can figure out how this looks. That looks good. Let's create some white space down there. So our for loop starts at zero, goes to the end of the aliens. We're going to move our dude to the left. And ba -ba, that looks good. By alien move. Remember, alien move was our variable. And okay, let's run it. Here we go. And it's thinking, oh man. All right, there they go. But not really working the way we thought. Notice that it's stopping at a, the one dude right here. And it's stopping at this dude. So these guys never actually get to the edge, which is not what we want. You know, you could probably play the game like that. But notice these guys never go down. The only one that goes down is down him. And they're going on forever. Not good. Let's stop out of here. Wow, well, it's going faster and faster. Okay. Let's X out of here. Notice the, uh, it's going until just one of them reaches the side. And we want it until they all go to the side. It has to do with this alien move variable right here. We actually need one of these variables for each one of the aliens inside the array. I know, crazy stuff. So, let's code that in. Whoops. It's not. Sorry, I'm just giving you some fancy colors. I hope I impress you. Oh, it's because I'm running. Yep, F9. First rule, probably always because you're running. Not running out of class, that's against the rules, and you probably marked absence, and I would miss you tremendously. Except for you, Ryan. Just kidding. Please don't take that personal. It's kind of a joke. Just don't tell your parents. Anyways, Dim, we want to create a whole bunch of variables now. We're going to call them alien move except it's an array actually let's not just make a new one let's just back out of this bad boy and let's just turn this alien move into an array and this array needs to match the amount of aliens you've made okay let's go take a look wherever we found alien move we now have to index it with an array so over here we said alien move is equal to five we have to index that with an array now we don't want to hit alien move equals five a whole bunch of times so what we're going to do actually back that out we're going to move this and we're going to put it inside this an array right here this sorry this for loop so there it is it's inside the for loop and we're going to say all right for each move check that through each iteration of the loop counter capitalized through each iteration of the loop counter, we're going to assign it the number 5. So now alien move at spot 0 is equal to 5, spot 1 is equal to 5, blah, 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 blah. So the whole array is full of numbers 5. Now if I just click, yeah, so that got rid of that. Let's go back up. Now it doesn't like this, right? Because uh, why? Because alien move now doesn't recognize. So we're going to say alien move dot, or not dot, open brackets LC. And doesn't like it over here. So let's go... LC, lowercase. All right. So now let's. I'm going to zoom out. We'll get the air, and then I'll run it. And they should all be moving. Those fancy aliens. So let's stop. And then hit play. Let's take a look. Is the suspense killing you? Are you guys excited? Oh, there they go. That's exciting. Hey, hey. Look at you guys coding away. Now this guy, remember we changed everything so he no longer moves, so let's just get rid of that dude. They collide a little bit. We could probably fix that 
Should we fix it? Nah, it depends on the random number of how we assign them, which is fine. First, let's get rid of that dude. Go to form design. And uh, let's just turn the visibility off. The only reason we need it is um, there's probably a better way to do it, but I like having, remember we referenced it for the picture. So anyways, we turned the visibility off and now he's no longer there. All right. Again, how do you want them to go? If you want them to go faster, let's just change the interval of the timer and let's speed these dudes up. Let's try one. So they should be 10 times faster. What do you guys think? It's going to work. Suspense, killing me. Yeah, me too. And... No, looks like they're going the same speed. That's not exciting. Let's X that out. Go back to timer. Interval of one. Actually, here's what we can do. Go back to the form page, the code. And we could change this number uh, instead of five. You could change that to whatever you want, and that's going to make it faster. Anyways, play around with that later. That's all for this tutorial.